Hello friends, I am Dr. Rohit Batra from Derma World Skin and Hair Clinics and today we are going to talk about Tinea versicolor. Yes, Tinea versicolor, by versicolor we mean various colors. It's a yeast infection which affects usually the upper torso of the body, that's chest, back, shoulder, at times underarms and at times neck also, where tiny little uh, small, you can say, coin-like lesions developed of various colors. By various colors, I mean they can be red, brown, black, white, uh, skin color, but uh, uh, slightly dark or uh, slightly uh, hypopigmented or light. So various colors, small lesions, which at times you can see tiny little dandruff-like particles or dryness on these lesions. They are non-contagious, first thing, nothing to worry at all. It usually occur in teens, uh, people who sweat a lot, who, uh, well, I should say, don't take care of themselves, don't maintain a hygiene, uh, because if you wash yourself, bathe yourself daily, and at the same time you dry yourself after taking a bath, such yeast infection doesn't occur at all. So once you are suffering from this condition, you should visit your skin specialist, this is the dermatologist, and they will give you some topical antifungals, oral antifungals, and an antifungal wash. Yes, an antifungal body wash is given. You apply those uh, wash on your affected area for around two to five minutes, keep it and wash it off so that whatever scales, the dandruff I talked to you about is removed. Then you apply those antifungal cream, which at times uh, contains ketoconazole, clotrimazole, nowadays you have laliconazole, etc. So that will not only the wash has taken away the scales, but the antifungal cream will make sure that whatever yeast infection is there, it is taken away, the yeast is killed, the yeast is uh, neutralized, and that fungal infection, yeast infection goes away. The oral antifungal here is given in a pulse manner as your dermatologist will give you a gluconazole. Uh, earlier we used to give ketoconazole but because of the side effects of the ketoconazole it is not used nowadays. So fluconazole in a dose as per your weight is given in a pulse manner say once a week for three to four weeks and in approximately three to four weeks this fungal infection is taken care. Yes, uh, at times pigmentation that is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation is left and we give few other creams and moisturizer at times or tacrolimus at times if it is hypopigmented to take care of that leftover pigmentation few things one need to take care is if they are on treatment if someone is suffering from tinea versicolor you should take care that you bathe properly of course your uh, uh, your dermatologist will give you an antifungal body wash after that, you dry yourself properly. Make sure that towel is washed properly, dries in sun in a good temperature and good sunlight so that if at all there are any spores in the towel, they also get neutralized. And in this way, you can get back your normal skin without those uh, marks that at times look uh, very uncosmetic, I, I should say. Uh, it makes uh, people cosmetically conscious. So if you're suffering from tinea versicolor, make sure you get it treated, you get an antifungal tr uh, treatment for yourself and get rid of those marks on your skin. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel that's Derma World Skin and Hair Clinics and uh, we will keep sharing more information and educative material for skin, hair and aesthetics from time to time. Thank you.